When we think of vertical flight, one image instantly comes to mind. A helicopter, one main rotor on top, a smaller one on the tail, and the loud chopping sound of blades cutting through the air. In the case of a multi-rotor drone, there are four or more propellers. But what if there was a completely different way to fly? One that doesn't rely on any of those. Imagine a flying machine that can hover, move sideways, or spin on the spot without even tilting its body. It sounds like science fiction, but this isn't fantasy. It's a real system called cycloidal propulsion, and it could redefine what flight looks like in the coming decades. At first glance, a cycloidal rotor looks strange, more like a paddle wheel or a mechanical drum than an aircraft propeller. Instead of long horizontal blades spinning like fans, you see a rotating cylinder with vertical blades arranged around it. As the cylinder spins, each blade changes its pitch multiple times during every rotation, slicing the air to create thrust. The result is something extraordinary. Instant, precise control in any direction. A cyclocopter can move forward, backward, sideways, or rotate while staying completely level. It doesn't need to tilt like a helicopter or swing its rotors like a tilt-rotor aircraft. Everything is handled by adjusting blade angles in real time. To many, this idea sounds futuristic, but it's actually over 100 years old. The origins of cycloidal propulsion trace back to 1909, when Russian scientist Nikolai Zhukovsky proposed a revolutionary concept, a flying machine powered by rotating airfoils arranged in a loop. His design was ambitious but impractical for the time. Early engines lacked the power, and mechanical systems couldn't precisely control blade pitch as needed. But his vision planted the seed for what would later become one of the most fascinating engineering challenges in aviation. Throughout the early 20th century, other inventors picked up Zhukovsky's idea. There were experimental aircraft in Europe, Japan, and the United States that tried to make it work. Some looked like flying barrels, others like giant farming machines with spinning arms. A few managed to lift off the ground briefly, but most failed. The technology of the time simply couldn't handle the fine control or the forces involved. Many of these inventors faced public ridicule and some were even accused of exaggerating or faking results. By the 1950s, cycloidal propulsion had faded from aviation almost entirely. It was seen as a dead end, a fascinating but useless experiment. Yet the core idea was too clever to disappear. Even as aviation moved on to jets and helicopters, the concept of variable thrust direction found new life somewhere unexpected underwater. In the 1930s, Austrian engineer Ernst Schneider created a rotating marine propulsion system that used the same principle. Called the Voith Schneider Propeller, or VSP, it replaced the traditional ship's screw with a circular array of blades that could instantly change pitch. Tugboats and ferries fitted with the system could move sideways, spin in place, and dock with pinpoint precision. It was a game changer for harbors and offshore platforms. Over the decades, the Voith Schneider propeller became a standard in marine engineering, used in everything from oil rigs to rescue vessels. It proved that cycloidal propulsion could work, and work reliably, in one of the harshest environments on Earth. So the question resurfaced. If it could master water, why not the air? The challenge was enormous. Water is dense and provides resistance, while air is thin and unpredictable. Making a cycloidal rotor work in air would require ultra-light materials, fast motors, and control systems that could adjust hundreds of times per second. For most of the 20th century, those technologies didn't exist. But with the rise of electric motors, composite materials, and digital flight controllers, engineers began to wonder if the time had finally come to make it fly. In modern designs, mechanical linkages have been replaced with electronic controls. High-speed servo motors adjust the pitch of each blade thousands of times per second, guided by sensors that constantly measure wind, balance, and thrust. Computers can calculate adjustments in real time, something impossible in the early 1900s. What once required a maze of gears and rods can now be done with microprocessors and lightweight actuators. This makes modern cycloidal propulsion not just possible, but potentially revolutionary. Unlike helicopters, which rely on swash plates, 
tail rotors and complex transmissions, a cyclocopter's movement is handled entirely by the blades themselves. There's no need to tilt engines or rotate massive assemblies. The aircraft stays level while thrust direction changes instantly. This means smoother control, less mechanical stress, and potentially greater reliability. And there's the noise factor. Traditional rotors produce tremendous turbulence and tip vortices that cause that familiar loud chopping sound. Cycloidal rotors, by contrast, produce a more uniform airflow. Because they don't need to spin at extreme speeds to lift, they can be much quieter. For urban air mobility, where future aircraft might fly over cities filled with people, this could be a huge advantage. Nobody wants skies filled with buzzing propellers. Cycloidal propulsion offers a quieter alternative. It also offers redundancy. In a conventional quadcopter, losing one rotor usually means disaster. But a cyclocopter can instantly compensate by changing thrust angles on its remaining rotors. This built-in control flexibility could make future passenger drones much safer than today's designs. However, this technology doesn't come without problems. The mechanics are incredibly complex, involving multiple moving parts under high stress. Each rotor must precisely synchronize blade movement to maintain stability. The systems are heavier and costlier than simple propellers, and current versions tend to consume more power than optimized conventional designs. But engineers believe these challenges are temporary. As materials become lighter, motors become more efficient, and software becomes smarter, these trade-offs could soon disappear. One company leading this frontier is Cyclotech, based in Austria. For more than 15 years, they've been developing aircraft powered by cyclo-rotors, their version of the cycloidal system. Their prototype looks like something out of a futuristic film. A sleek body supported by four spinning cylindrical rotors, each about the size of a small barrel. Instead of blades slicing the air, you see these rotating drums humming quietly. Each one spins at over 3,000 revolutions per minute, while its blades constantly shift pitch, guided by onboard computers. The aircraft can hover, move laterally, or spin 360 degrees in place without any tilt. Cyclotech's goal is to create a new generation of electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft that can operate in tight urban spaces with less noise and more safety. Their design has already completed tethered and untethered flight tests and earned regulatory approval in Europe for further trials. Investors are taking notice, pouring millions into development. Cyclotech believes its propulsion system could power not just small drones, but larger cargo aircraft and even passenger air taxis. The company's chief development officer, Marco Prugger, describes their vision clearly. Our mission is that our new exciting technology, the Cyclo Rotors, will serve mankind at large because we develop CO2-free electrically driven propulsion systems for aviation and the automotive industry. Cycloidal propulsion's real-world advantages make this vision believable. It allows for instant, omnidirectional control, ideal for urban flying taxis or search and rescue missions, where every centimetre matters. It can maintain stable flight in gusty conditions, land precisely on small pads, or even park itself mid-air without wobbling. In future cityscapes, where dozens of flying vehicles may share the same airspace, such control could make the difference between chaos and safety. Skeptics argue simpler solutions already exist. Electric multicopters like the Jetson 1 or Ehang vehicles are already in operation. Why add complexity? The answer lies in the limits of those designs. Traditional drones rely on high-speed propellers that create noise, turbulence, and limited maneuverability. Cycloidal propulsion, on the other hand, trades simplicity for performance. It's like comparing a bicycle to a car. Both move, but one can do far more once the technology matures. The cyclocopter is a reminder that innovation often comes from revisiting old ideas with new tools. A century ago, the world wasn't ready for cycloidal propulsion. The materials, motors and control systems just didn't exist. Today, everything has changed. Lightweight carbon composites, efficient batteries and high-speed processors make it feasible. 
What was once a curious sketch in a scientist's notebook is now a working prototype. And beyond the technology, there's something poetic about it. A kind of engineering redemption story. The same concept that was laughed off a hundred years ago is now being tested as one of aviation's most promising breakthroughs. It's proof that innovation isn't always about inventing something new. Sometimes it's about seeing an old idea in a new light. If cycloidal propulsion continues to evolve, it could lead to a new generation of aircraft designed specifically for the skies above cities. Quiet, compact, efficient, and remarkably agile. Imagine emergency drones that can squeeze between buildings, delivery craft that hover silently at your window, or air taxis that take off without disturbing the neighborhood. The possibilities are vast. The cyclocopter's journey from forgotten invention to futuristic aircraft shows how far human imagination can stretch. It connects the dreams of early aviation pioneers to the possibilities of electric flight today. And while challenges remain, cost, efficiency, and complexity, history suggests that persistence pays off. The once impossible idea of controlled vertical flight gave us helicopters. Perhaps the next revolution will come from these strange spinning cylinders. Cycloidal propulsion is not just an alternative, it's a statement. It shows that even in an era dominated by electric motors and drones, there are still radically different ways to fly. And as engineers continue to refine this system, one thing becomes clear. The future of flight might not spin the way we've always imagined, 